to welcome you all to the latest Kali Tutors tutorial session. In this tutorial session, we are going to look at the final output for assignment one, question number two. In this lesson, I am going to show you the key information that you are supposed to present as your final output, okay? Without wasting your time, let us look at this key information. As we had discussed in the previous lesson, the purpose of writing meeting minutes is to show the resolutions that were taken, okay? Need to be clear what uh, resolutions were taken in that particular meeting. Secondly, uh, to indicate what actions are to, are to be taken following that particular meeting and who are the responsible people, okay? So from reading the transcript, uh, we found four resolutions that were taken, okay? The first one was to implement a two-meter social distancing among students. The second resolution was to split classes into halves and introduce alternating class schedules. The third one was to hire assistant uh, lecturers to handle the extra work. And the last resolution was to procure laptops and iPads for students. You need to demonstrate this. You need to show this in your final meeting minutes. Uh, so everyone who reads your meeting minutes must know that they, they actually concluded on these four uh, resolutions. The second and most important thing is to show how these resolutions came about, okay? Did the members vote on it? Okay, in this case, uh, if you remember, it was uh, Dr. Faden who actually asked if they agreed on some of the resolutions, and the second person to ask them if they agree on the last resolution was Prof. Shavit, okay? So you need to show that on your meeting minutes, okay? So you can take these uh, points and include them. If any of this is missing, uh, you will lose marks, okay? Make sure that all these resolutions are there and none of them is actually missing, okay? And another important thing that you need to indicate in your meeting minutes is that uh, Prof. Shevit was given a task to, doc to document the resolutions of the meeting, okay? Uh, basically, that is all that you are supposed to do with regards to meeting minutes. If you can show how the resolutions came about uh, and who is supposed to do what, and that's basically all that you had to do, and you should get good marks, okay? Remember to use the linear format. Basically, uh, that means you need to use paragraphs, not point forms, okay? If you, you, you've got bullet points as part of your meeting minutes, you will lose marks, okay?